Welcome to this new episode of the Ambassador Series. We have with us the Syrian Ambassador, uh, Dr. Abbas. Uh, we're going to talk about a number of issues, not just look at the current situation and the current crisis in Syria, but to talk about the long-term uh, sort of relationship between India and Syria, which in many sense has been historic. We all know about his Syria has always stood by India on the issues of Kashmir and others. So, um, Ambassador Bas, welcome to the interview. Um, I want to begin by asking you, what is the current situation in Syria? Uh, my dear, uh, unfortunately, I would like to say for you, uh, till now, two years have passed in the crisis on Syria. And uh, unfortunately, till now, we couldn't find any political solution due external intervention in the international issue in Syria. Mm. The blood shield on the street. This blood is a Syrian blood. From either side it is, is a Syrian blood. Mm -hmm. Our concern to stop this blood flowing on the street in Syria. Because of that, our go government asked for political solution and asked its friend in different countries, please help us to find this political solution. This is the current situation. But I would like to say for you, everybody know we are facing from cross-border terrorism, big media propaganda, mm. and uh, those uh, armed group in the ground who get support, finance, and weapons from uh, uh, different country, like GCC country, mm. European country, or America. This is a problem in Syria. Yeah. Ambassador, we saw uh, the US Secretary of State giving a statement that US will not stand on the way if uh, other other countries want to arm the opposition forces in Syria. Uh, you just mentioned about how there are other countries from GCC and others who have been fueling uh, the opposition, the so-called uh, opposition in many sense, a lot of people say. Uh, what do you make of the role of the West uh, in the crisis uh, in Syria? My dear, uh, I would like to say for you, this is a very big joke. They will not stop Western country to support uh, the arms group in the ground by, by weapons. Already they support. Mm -hmm. Already we arrest many uh, groups in the ground. They have uh, weapons from uh, French, from Western state, from America, mm -hmm. and Israeli weapons. Okay. They announced we will not allow, we will allow already uh, the weapons on the ground. Okay. This evidence, this means they support arms group by weapons and by money and something. This is a very big joke. Mm. This big uh, media propaganda. Mm. Is, is it very strange? It is very strange for us to see American big country have double standard policy. Mm. One side support arms group in the ground against our government in Syria, and from other side we see uh, America support government uh, against its people in other ground in other city, mm. and also other country have double standard policy. They support the arms group in, uh, group in our ground and f uh, fight against those, the same group mm. in other country. Mm. It's a very big joke. Double standard policy it happened in Syria. But who is suffering from that? Our people, Syrian mm. people. Mm. Because of that, our concern to stop b b Syrian blood flowing on the street. When because of when you're mentioning these armed groups, can you tell us which are these armed groups? There are a lot of uh, reports suggesting that even Al Qaeda has a presence in. I don't. Syria. If uh, I please, my dear, hmm. don't listen what I will tell you because okay. I am a Syrian ambassador. Hmm. But if you can watch the TV, hmm. you can see and you can listen from others. The leader of Al Qaeda, Ayman Zawahiri, announced that and called all element of Al-Qaeda to come to Syria to fight against our government mm. and to kill our people and to destroy our country, to destroy public and the private sector in Syria. Mm. This uh, evidence for you, you can check uh, website of any uh, in, in Google mm. and you'll see the statement of Ayman mm. al-Zawahiri. Those people came to Syria for democracy, for reforms, what they need from Syria? The colonialist state and America would like to destroy our regime in Syria. They need to change our policy in the Middle East because Syria have an independent policy in uh, the Middle East. Mm. 
Syria not fellow our country for any state, for any country, for anything. Mm. Syria have independent policy in the Middle East. If they will uh, made, uh, make pl pressure against our country to change our policy, will not change. And if they uh, have any dream to destabilize the regime, cannot uh, destabilize the regime in Syria, because our regime is very strong, because he have uh, the majority in Syria, our people support our regime, our army is very strong. Syria is different than other country. Hmm. Since the beginning of the issue in, uh, in Syria, we announced that Syria is different. Hmm. Only one reason I would like to, uh, to say for you, our president came to the power by election. Hmm. Our people put our president in the power. But in other countries, I will not mention which country, hmm. they came to, uh, to the power by the support of America. Hmm. What they did in other countries? They changed their agent by new agent, only like that. Hmm. Because with a change, it happened only by cant countries who follow American policy. Hmm. Syria doesn't follow American policy in the Middle East because of that, till now, don't want uh, to destabilize the regime and they cannot also do it in the future. But tell me about the internal reforms. There have been a lot of talk about how even President Assad is trying to incorporate a lot of reforms within your uh, within the country in the structure are those reforms in on the way are we are we going to see some structural changes within the political system of Syria my dear our government and our leadership in the in Syria since the beginning of the issue they announced for many reforms for Syria they remove uh, emergency law hmm. they put free media uh, law they uh, accept uh, many parties to participate in the government and they al allow any any group to form any parties in Syria. Uh, this Syria uh, free country, secular country, we have many religions, many ethnics, many. Syria is as a only, uh, I will not say only, but Syria is a secular country hmm. in the Middle East. Hmm. Because of that, all uh, people, all, all our people, anybody in Syria take his right by his pacification, by his qualification, by his certificate, anyone he can, can join mm. our government by his certificate, by his position, by his something like that. But I would like to say for you, Syria, Syrian constitution doesn't allow mm. any religious party to remain in the power. Okay. Syria is a secular country. Mm. And two years passed, until now cannot, they can't destroy the regime hmm. and they can't destroy the regime they this is a dream hmm. I and will not be able to see in future our government our regime will remain in the power hmm. because had the majority support from our people but uh, interestingly that you mentioned about <coughs> the religion uh, part of it um, when uh, the envoy from President Assad, uh, Ms. Uh, Saban, was here, she mentions about, uh, and in the press conference that was held uh, when yes. she was here, she mentions about the Wahhabi influence and how the countries with Wahhabi influence, especially the leadership, are trying to act against Syria. She mentioned Turkey very prominently, the Turkish mm. uh, Prime Minister, and indicated towards Saudi involvement. And of course, we know Qatar uh, with Al Jazeera playing a major role in the proper sort of the whole propaganda war that's going on w do why do you think are uh, the neighboring countries of Syria all these neighboring countries sort of ganging up if I may use that word together against Syria what is there I mean and all of these countries seem to be very have you know religious uh, Islamist at the top and Islamist by definition at least by their basic uh, principle are against America but yet they seem to be towing the very American line my dear, uh, that is the true. But uh, you mentioned that uh, religious, uh, religions against America. I don't know. Maybe you know better than me. Who created Al-Qaeda? Hmm. Who created Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan or other way? Who support Al-Qaeda? Hmm. You can answer yeah. me. Yes or no? How uh, the religious against America? Hmm. Who helped Al-Qaeda in Syria to destroy our regime? Who support Al-Qaeda in Syria? Who support Wahhabis? Wahhabis belong to who? Which country? From which country Wahhabis came to Syria? Hmm. 
from French, not from French, from America, no, from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a follower country to American policy. Hmm. When America tells him stop, they can stop. But America doesn't tell him. They announce uh, in the media something and under the table there is another thing. Hmm. There is Wahhabi, there is Al-Qaeda fight, fight against our government in Syria. But and we arrest all uh, some of them hmm. in Syria. Hmm. Hmm. Those Wahhabis came from Arab countries, from European countries, from America, from neighboring uh, country, from Pakistan, from Afghanistan, from this area. Hmm. Understand, hmm. what does those people need from our country? Hmm. They need democracy. Did those countries who support those rebels, those terrorist group, have democracy? They have constitution, they have election, they have uh, woman right. What they, they would like to teach us for democracy? Hmm. Those people came to Turkey, they ma make a training camp for training them in Turkey, mm. and they facilitate them to smuggle the border into Syria and to kill our civilian and to destroy our uh, public and uh, private sector in Syria. Mm. As you know, I don't know if you heard uh, our envoy, uh, which we, uh, he did this conference. More than 3,800 schools are uh, destroyed in Syria. Mm. This for democracy. More than 1,500 factory destroyed in Syria, and some of them st still and take uh, those ma uh, machinery and se uh, sell selling in Turkey. Okay. This is a revolution. Did you hear in the history any revolution ask colonialist state to come and occupy the, the country? Only in Syria. Mm. Did you hear any revolution uh, take the religious to cut the head of other people? This is what happened in our country. The, those uh, rebels, those arms group, cut the head and shouting Allahu Akbar. Hmm. Islam, religious, is peace, religious. Hmm. Ask for equity and justice. Not like this. This not belong to Islam. Hmm. Hmm. And did you, it's very strange, strange for us, my dear. Hmm. If you read the history, <laughs> all Western country fight against the uh, authority of religious in their ground. Mm. They fight against the Christian religious to rule uh, European country in the past. Mm. How many wars happened in Europe for that? How now European country very keen to support our religious to come to the power in, uh, in Arab country? I don't know. Mm. It's very strange for strange, us. Yeah. 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 But for our uh, viewers, especially in India, can you explain it in simple terms? Is this a fight between Wahhabis versus Shias? Or is this a fight for larger resources? Why, wh what is this fight for? Is it, I mean, it's very clear that it's, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm taking a literal position, yes, yes, but yes. it's very clear that it's not a fight to bring around a change in the democracy and America suddenly hasn't become the friend of democracy, exporting democracy around the world. But what exactly is this fight for? My dear, sorry for that to tell you, what happened in Syria, not secondary war, not, sorry, I am, mm. I don't like to speak in secondary or something like mm. that, but not fighting between Shia and Sunnah and the Rus or something like mm. that, not like that. In Syria, the war between radical terrorist mm. against secular regime. Mm. This is the main, and I will give you evidence for that. Mm. Understand? Aleppo. Mm belong to which community? You can ask anybody. Aleppo, all Aleppo people are from Sunni community. Mm. They support our government. They support our president. Mm. Who is the prime minister in uh, Syria? To which community belong? We it? have 30 ministers in our cabinet. 25 ministers or 26 ministers belong to this community which you call Sorry for that, so I don't like to talk, but mm. only to explain to you what mm. happened in Syria. Mm. In Syria, we have not secondary war. The defense minister who follows us, mm. terrorist group in the ground, mm. belong to Hamas city. You know Hamas city? Everybody knows what, what is Hamas city mm. and to which community belong Hamas city. We have no secondary war in Syria. Mm. We have war start 
external military external intervention in Syria by those mercenaries who came from all over the world mm. to fight our, uh, against our regime, against our government, our against secular regime in Syria. Mm. This is what happened in Syria. Mm. If the leader of Al-Qaeda announced on TV, mm. not hiding, mm. and call all elements of Al-Qaeda to come to fight against our regime, mm. does this mean for democracy? This is what happened. This is the current situation in Syria. But I would like to say for you that, mm. and I will assure you, mm. everything in Syria under the control of our government, mm. all area controlled by our government, mm. but those terrorist group, maybe they do, uh, do some operation here and some operations uh, uh, there, and they flee outside and hiding themselves. Mm. But there is no any area safety for those terrorist group to stay and build build their own state or uh, uh, on government, uh, on their government in Syria. Mm. So in the last part of the interview, I wanted to talk about the Indian role and uh, how Syria has been approaching BRIC nations, Brazil, India, Russia, China, South America, South Africa, sorry, um, for support, especially that you know very well that the West, Europe and America is against you. Uh, let me begin by asking you that in July 2012, the resolution at uh, UN, Mm. India had actually voted against your present uh, res regime. Uh, do you think that uh, India will now be sympathetic uh, towards your cause? My dear, I will come to you from the end <coughs> of your question. As you know, any country have their own interest and independent policy. Mm. For this question, please, you can ask directly this question to Indian side. Okay. I don't like to talk about that, but from our side, I will tell you, we highly appreciate Indian position about our country, Syria. Okay. And uh, since the independence of our country, we have co cordial and deep relation with India. Hmm. You in fact supported India on Kashmir as well? Uh, yes, hmm. because I will tell you why. Uh, and our envoy uh, came to India only to explain for our friend here the current, to appraise the current situation for our friend in India, what happened mm. truly in the ground in Syria. Mm. And especially India is presenting Brexit state and uh, next summit will be in this month in South Africa. Mm. And our friend has to know what happened in the ground. Mm. As you uh, ask me, mm. what is the fighting between who and who, who uh, from where uh, those mercenaries came to mm. our country? Mm. I explained to you that they came from Arab country, Western state, or and neighboring country mm. here in India. We highly appreciate Indian rules. And uh, we, uh, we ask India only for, uh, we don't ask for humanitarian uh, assistance. Mm. We ask only if our friend in India can speed the political solution in our country to stop the blood uh, flowing in the uh, Syrian street mm. by make any pressure or by uh, cordial nego uh, negotiation with those countries who <coughs> support the rebels and support the arms group in the ground in Syria. Mm. This is what... Uh, but how is this going to be different from the support that you seek from China and Russia, who have also stood by you, by the way? This is, uh, I will tell you frankly, ah. each country has uh, an independent own. policy mm. and, and mm. they have uh, their own uh, rule to support Syria. Mm. Understand? India, uh, as we know, since we were a child, mm. in our memory there is the principle of Mr. Gandhi and the policy of Mr. Jawahir Lal Nahru. And we know and we appreciate the principle of India for non-external uh, intervention, no arming the arms group in the ground and we have to find political solution. Mm. We highly appreciate that and we need from them to uh, support us for political so solution, to mm. speed this political solution from anywhere mm. they can. Mm. And to thank our friend in India for their position. This is mm. our concern. And Lastly, uh, Ambassador, if you could tell us what, where do you look the whole crisis headed and where is it headed towards? I mean, I just spoke earlier, you just spoke about 
how the Americans have now said that they have no problem. They're now openly coming out mm. in terms of arming the uh, opposition, uh, rebels, if I may use that word. Mm. Uh, where is it headed? Do we see more bloodshed or do you expect, at least especially as you mentioned, the next coming up is the BRIC uh, meetings. Do you expect BRIC nations to intervene and ha sort of work towards some political solution? My dear, uh, hopefully we would like to uh, listen from next summit of BRICS, a strong decision uh, call for political solution in Syria mm. and pressuring those countries who support the arms group and the mercenaries uh, to stop their support uh, for those mercenaries to come to Syria. And uh, for uh, ending this problem in Syria, if those countries remain to support those mercenaries and facilitate for them smuggle the border into Syria, the issue will remain and we will continue. And the blood, Syrian blood shield will remain on the street in Syria. Our concern to stop blood flowing on the street in Syria, our concern to protect our people. Any government in the world would like to restore the order and the law and protect the civilian in their ground. Mm. This is our concern. Mm. And uh, you ask me in the, uh, for Kashmir support or something like that. This is our duty because India is a secular country and there is many religions, many ethnic. And similarly, our country is, a, yes, is a small country, but there is similar uh, issue between the both country. Mm. Because of that, we support uh, the secular country. We definitely will not support any radical uh, regime, any religious regime in the world. Mm. Mm. La one more additional question. Today also happens to be time when the, pre the new president of the Arab Republic of Egypt is visiting Delhi. Yes. So what about your relationship with uh, Egypt? Has it changed with a uh, completely new no, Again, I'll a Wahhabi-backed my dear, my dear, my dear, I don't like to uh, d uh, discuss uh, in the details of the changing in Egypt or something like that. We hope all the best for uh, Egyptian people and we support Egyptian people to execute their uh, implement mm -hmm. in the world. But uh, as you know, what happened in Syria, uh, s some countries take side against our government, mm. but not definitely their people with them. Maybe some Arab country against our government, but uh, their people support our government. So you're making a difference between the people and the government? Yes, yes, definitely for them. Mm. Now, uh, as you know, Arab League controlled by small country in Arab, controlled by small countries mm. because they have money Mm. and they have support from Western state and America. Mm. They don't have independent decision. Mm. Since the beginning of the issue, we allow Arab League to come and solve our issue by internal decision. Mm. But when the committee of Arab League sends their report and mentions that there is armed group in the ground, they refuse the report of their community and transfer our issue to United, United Nations. Nations. If you have good contact and there is independent country mm. in the United Nations can announce that for our right, we don't need Arab League to interfere in this issue. We don't need mm. because they can't do anything. Mm. Mm. Thanks a lot for talking to us, Ambassador. You are welcome, my dear. Thank you for coming.